Guys, many of you probably have someone in your life whom you would call your pastor. That may be a person who leads the church that you attend, or, or perhaps it's someone else you know who's been of significant spiritual influence to you. Well, in biblical days, they had people who were in that role, but they didn't use the word pastor, they called them priests. A priest was someone who would officiate at the temple. They had this incredible ornate garment that they wore with, with the names of Israel on their chest and on their shoulders and, and a big hat that said holy to the Lord on it and, and bells around the bottom. And it was quite a sight to see and to hear. And, well, we don't use outfits like that in our churches today, not very often anyway. And Maybe some of you still call that spiritual leader priest, but here's something else the Bible says about us, guys. The Bible says that you and I, through 1 Peter, are part of a royal priesthood. All of us are. There may still be people in your life with that formal title of priest, but here's what the Bible says about us, guys. It says that we're priests too, and a priest, by definition, is someone who intercedes, someone who sort of stands in the gap between a person, any person, and God. That means, friends, since you're part of the royal priesthood and we get to be royal because we're related to the king, right? Since we're part of a royal priesthood, God says, I want you to stand in the gap. Friends, what that means is that there may be someone in your life today, a guy, maybe one of the women in your life, who perhaps is feeling like they're somewhat distant from God. It may be because of circumstances in their life. It may be because of lifestyle or something else. God calls you to be a stand-in-the-gap kind of guy. That means that we pray for them. That means we encourage them. We share a few words of scripture when we can. That means we don't let go of them. One hand on God, the other hand on them. We're going to stand in the gap for them this week. God's called you to this incredible privilege of being part of his royal priesthood. Be the kind of guy who stands in the gap for somebody this week.